Hello my fellow creative spirits. So today, on this time lapse, I'm going to be doing a piece that is a lot more controversial and definitely a lot more obscure in meaning than I'm used to doing. Uh, this is actually for a show here in Orlando called The Monument Show that is for this month's third Thursday here in April. Um, at City Arts Factory. So definitely, if you live in Orlando, I think you should definitely come check it out. There's going to be a lot of amazing artists who have interpreted this whole theme of monuments differently. So in my own interpretation, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a background on why and how and exactly everything to why I did this. This exhibit was particularly intriguing to me because it is definitely a lot more political and I also wanted to cover this topic because I always thought politics was kind of interesting. I definitely took a lot of interest in government, in college. I find concepts of early governments really interesting. So that's why I decided to choose the Greek figure of Themis to represent Lady Justice. So that's why she has the blindfold and she has the, like, the scale arms kind of. She represents law and fairness and justice and she can be tied in with this piece with the monuments because of the fact that these two monuments are on public grounds and our constitution and uh, modern day government which the ancient greeks have laid the foundation for states that the government cannot sponsor any particular religion and this kind of coincides with how these two particular monuments since they're on public grounds they are maintained and they are, uh, the government does have to pay money if they get taken down and for maintenance and all of that. The type of feedback that I kind of expect from this could be mixed because some people might take it as that I am um, maybe sponsoring myself a particular religion over another or that it's a religious piece, but that's what, not what this is about. Um, I definitely, I believe in freedom of religion. You can believe anything that you want. As a uh, Bob Rossian myself, I think Bob Ross is our lord and savior. <laughs> but um, definitely, I want to hear your guys' feedback on this piece. Maybe you have a different interpretation of it, and I'd love to hear it down below. And again, whatever religion you may be, I am definitely not going to trash anybody's religion or any of that. That's not what this piece is about. It's just about our constitution and um, lady justice and natural order and law. Another topic that I kind of wanted to bring up with you guys, I want to get your opinions, and this is about the whole concept of, of monuments in general. Do you guys think that the government should even sponsor any monument at all? In my eyes, like, who gets to decide what artist is getting paid to create a monument? And also, it's on public land, so something that's not controversial today can be super controversial tomorrow. So, I want to know your guys' opinion on that too. Do you think monuments should even exist on public lands? I think that monuments are great if people want to make them on their private lands, but I'm still iffy about whether, um, whether the government should, besides sponsoring art and educational programs, but if they should sponsor specific artists over others, what would designate that and how would we guarantee that that doesn't turn into some sort of, like there might not be conflict of interest along the way. The materials that I gathered and that I used for this particular piece, um, they come from a variety of sources. Um, I always get inspiration. I have no shame in telling you guys that I get inspiration everywhere. So this piece, I actually only took a picture of it, but um, this piece, the marble backdrop, is inspired by it. I did change it up a bit, but it was inspired by a piece that I saw at the Ringling Museum in Sarasota. The woman in the painting is actually myself. I put on some curtains that were in my laundry and I wrapped it around myself and I used like the scarf and put it around my uh, torso and that was the outfit. Um, I wanted to look very toga-like. And then the two monuments, the one of the satanic monument is from Belle Plaine and this one was created to protest. Uh, there was another Christian monument that was put up in Belle Plaine and the satanic church said, well, if you're going to put up this thing, then you have to be able to sponsor all religions. Therefore, they put up theirs. The one on the right, the one that is a Christian monument, is a monument in the state park of Maryland. 
this is just to kind of show like two extremes of one side and another and will I make more political and controversial paintings? Maybe. Um, I guess it really depends on if there's a theme that comes along that I really like. And I'm going to leave you guys with a quote that peace is not only the absence of conflict, but the presence of justice. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!